sleek, straight, and static-free finish. Recommended for all hair types. Curly, straight, and thin. How petty is that? Curly, straight, and thin. Thin is not a hair type. Like, yes, I took a shower today and, and I'm a baddie. Of course I smell good. Duh. What is up you guys? Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Miyoshi and I am just the bee's knees. I provide you with beauty vlogs, mukbangs, occasionally. I gotta step it up a little bit. But yeah, whatever you wanna see, it is here on my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge haul. If you guys have seen my last video, then you know that I went shopping with my mother and my sister. If you haven't seen it, it is part one of this video. So it is the vlog portion. I will link it down in the description box below. I went to Marshalls and then I also went to Sephora and I picked up so, so much stuff, you guys. So before we even get into all of the shit I spent my money on, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you guys know every single time your girl posts, which is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3.30 p.m. So yeah, make sure that you are staying in the loop and you're joining the Max Squad because we are here, you feel me? And honestly, I spend a lot of money in my hauls. So if you really love hauls, then I'm the girl for you because I spend money like it's water. I spend money like I am Kylie Jenner, okay? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I did go to two Sephora's, <laughs> that sounds kind of weird, but I did go to a standalone store that they had at the mall, and then I also went to the one that they have in JCPenney. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got from Sephora, the standalone store. We'll move on to JCPenney, and then last but not least, we'll do Marshalls because that's mostly like home stuff, not really a lot of makeup. So for all the people that are here for the makeup, like me, honey, this is for you. In Sephora, they don't give you any like samples, like you can't request any samples. So they give you pre-packaged samples. So I'll just go ahead and run through these first. I have like how many? Okay, I have three of them. I got Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, which I actually really, really wanted to pick this perfume up, which was so funny. Um, I just didn't purchase it that day because I already bought perfume. Like, y'all gonna see, it's lit. Um, and then they also gave me the YSL Black Opium, which was so funny. I had on this, like I said, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But I had on this like all black outfit with like a leather cropped um, jacket and the guy in Sephora, shout out to David. He was like the bomb. He was really helping us out, me, my mom, my sister. Like we were being, we're such brats when we shop. So <laughs> he was being, not like brats, like in a bad way. Like, no, we're, we just ask for a lot. Like we have you running around everywhere because yeah. But anyways, thank you so much, David. He was like, yes, I had to get this for you because you're very YSL with your oil leather. And I was like, oh my God, yes, <laughs> love YSL. So then he also gave me the Valentino, which is the Donna one. I've never smelt this, but we'll see how it goes. For myself though, I also purchased the small, um, the pen spray. This is the YSL Libre. And I smelt this in an Ulta catalog. I can't believe Ulta still sends out catalogs, but yeah, I smelt this in Ulta catalog and I was like, I need to get it. This perfume is so expensive and I would have actually got the full size if I hadn't bought perfume at Marshalls prior to going to Sephora but yeah this is like a real like sexy like nighttime womanly type of perfume so it's not one that I would be wearing all the time and that day I was shopping for like everyday perfumes because as you can see my daisy dream is <laughs> she's almost gone and I'm really sad about it also my um oh my god what is it my Burberry blush she is like Mm. moving on <laughs> I also picked up the Anastasia foundation this is the I don't know I think she only has one foundation but yeah this is the foundation and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like I'm in the color 360c I actually got matched earlier this year and I fell in love with it but I kind of fell in between two shades and this is how much let me see we're going to talk about it I don't know what I dropped, but whatever. This foundation is $38. So yeah, there was no way I was going to be buying two of these because 
that would just be dumb so i just picked with the lighter one because i figured i am gonna be getting oh i figured that being that i didn't even get that tan this winter um yeah i'm already really light and then also i'm gonna just get lighter <laughs> in the winter so i just went with the lighter shade which is 360c um, I really do love this foundation. It is very high coverage. Like I said, I tested it earlier this year. So if you haven't gotten this, if you haven't gotten this foundation or you haven't tried it, make sure that you guys go try it. I don't know if you can do testers or if they give out samples anymore, honestly, but if you can get your hands on this, just get your hands on it. I do know that Sephora is still doing their return. So, you know, if you don't like it, you can always just return it. <laughs> I also did get the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Yes, we love Marc Jacobs over here. So I got the lip gloss in the color Moon Glow. I've previously owned this lip gloss and I love it. You guys know I love nude. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the color that I got. It is so pretty. I would put it on right now, but I just put lip gloss on. So yeah, but I'm gonna save this because I love she. She's perfect. We adore Mark on this channel. If you don't like Mark Jacobs, then <laughs> Zeno. I did get a little of this Sephora um, coconut ham bomb. I saw this in the Temptation aisle, and I was like, you know what? It's getting that time, and I really have dry skin, especially in the winter, like my hands. And I'm like, I'm gonna put some on now. I'm anemic, so like my hands are always cold, which means like they're kind of always like a little dry, and I hate that. Like I. I'm not a fan of man hands but this I really do like it like it is mm. and it's like the lightest coconut smell but it smells like oh I just cracked my knuckles oh do you guys crack your knuckles oh I gotta crack them I always crack my knuckles but yeah it has the lightest coconut scent but it's still like a fresh it smells like fresh island coconut like I feel like I'm on the beach and I smell like the salt water and the sun's Green. but yeah i really do like this this is gonna be going in my purse i'm gonna probably get like a bunch of these maybe in like different scents but um yeah these are gonna go in all of my bags because it's that season moisturize ladies moisturize oh and gentlemen everybody you need to moisturize don't nobody want to touch no dry as hands next we have two fenty products is this the front yeah <laughs> we have two fenty products so I did get the Cheeks Out Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Crush on Cupid. I had to pick this up. I really wanted the Fuego Flush, but every time, even when I try to order it, it's always sold out. So I'm just gonna kinda like give up on her. This is what she looks like. She's so pretty. She is so pretty, oh my God. So I'm gonna just go ahead and swatch this for you guys. We're doing swatches today. That's what it's giving. Ooh, this is so pretty. And it's it looks really intimidating in the packaging, but to be honest, oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, it's so creamy. Oh, wow. That's what it looks like, like on my hand. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it is like buildable. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to be super intense. And I'm pretty sure if I apply with a brush, it'll definitely be a little bit more vibrant. But we like her. She matches my lips a little bit. But we like her. We think she's fun. So I'm gonna definitely get some more of these. I just need to try out like one and then I'll know <laughs> if I want more. But I'm definitely getting into more of like the cream products right now because it is getting to be like cold. Like it really just like got cold so fast in New York. So you know when you use cream products like it allows your makeup to last longer and then also like with the mask and all this other nonsense like it is just like my makeup needs to stay on point in place all day like i don't have time the other product that i got from fenty is the cheeks the excuse me the cheeks out cream bronzer and this is in the shade i think i got teddy yeah i got teddy this is number five so honestly the little blush like it looks so tiny but the bronzer is like gigantic and I love the packaging like it is just so pretty obviously my, my little nasty fingerprints are all on it but oh my hands I should have never put that lotion on I'm about to be opening products I'm so silly but anyways oh maybe that's why it's not that vibrant okay lies we'll find out but anyways this is the color that I got 
and I was like really torn between this one and the shade Honey Glaze, which is I think right before it. But this one, it comes out a little bit more of like a neutral brown, like a little bit more cool tone. Like I noticed, I don't really like warm on my face, like because usually like, like that warmer color had a lot of red in it. I wanted something a little bit more cool. So if you like my shade or a little bit lighter and you prefer like cool tone bronzers like or like cream contours, I definitely recommend the shade Teddy. Uh, because it when you swatch it, it's definitely like a big difference between the two. So Yeah, but as Sephora, they don't let you swatch but they will swatch it for you So it kind of helps or like they'll put it on like the little um, Applicators like the little plastic applicators like they'll do it like that So it's really not that bad in there. The last thing I picked up from there was the sugar um, Sorry, not the fresh sugar exfoliating face wash. You guys know how I feel about my skin care and I actually have a skincare video that I'm planning to do very soon. So you guys, if you want to know how I keep my skin all gorgeous, then just stay tuned for that. It would be out next week. But yeah, um, I really want to try this out. I really want to smell it. It's funny, my sister, who doesn't even like, she's not really like that into like makeup or anything like that. But she was like, oh, I have that. And this is the smaller one. This is only $15. So I was like, and this is pretty, pretty good, $15. Um, I want to take this off so I can smell it. Ooh, it does smell like strawberries. Mmm. I could like sit there and smell that all day. Yes, I love a good smelling skin product. Um, right now I'm using the Fenty Skin and that smells so pretty. Like cherries, now I have strawberries. Like, oh my god. My face is going to smell like a fruit salad. But yeah. Um, I can't wait to try this out. I do have experience with some fresh products. Like I really do love their um, their lip pro like their lip balms. Um, super expensive lip balm, but it's really really good. So I can't wait to see how this, you know, does on my skin. If you guys want a video of like me actually applying skincare instead of like talking it through, then comment down below. But yeah, skincare is definitely coming soon. So she might have another reappearance very soon keep on watching moving on to when i went to the sephora in jc penny um like i said i have mental problems don't judge me but yeah so the first thing that i did pick up was this rose lip scrub i actually had to get another one because the standalone store did not have two and my mom wanted one so i actually ended up buying two of these and guess how many of these are saying zero i was being real thirsty and i just wanted to try this out like um then like when i came home like i was like oh, i want to scrub my lips whatever so when i was in the sephora store they were like just to rub it on your lips and then only use like a little bit of product and then wash it off with water so i'm expecting this to be like some kind of scrub stick but no it is just this really big pink wax stick and it's just a really waxy consistency if you can like if the camera focuses on it you might be able to see like these little like lumps in it which i thought was like okay maybe that's the scrubby part but no and then when I tried to like wash it off, it would just let this big waxy residue all over my lips. I don't like this. I don't know if I'm using it right or wrong, but either way, I don't like it. Like the formula is like, it's just wax. Like it's just like a wax stick. No, I want to scrub. I want to scrub. Thank you. Um, I picked up the Micro Smooth, what is this? This is the face powder, um, the Sephora collection one. This is in the shade Matte 1040 yeah 40 so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up maybe it's me but it's like all beauty or like anyone who's in beauty like i feel like or does makeup they always have nails and it's like all makeup brands make packaging for people who don't wear like long nails or like e these aren't even that long but like you know what i'm saying like it's just so weird know your audience okay make better packaging because my nails okay i care about them it costs a lot of money but this is what the powder looks like honestly i'm gonna go ahead and like apply some my brush is like a little dirty but i could totally 
use some of this right now. Oh, this one gave me um, samples too. So they gave me two of the Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balms. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that this is just... Okay, yeah, it is a nourishing facial cleansing balm that erases makeup and gently lifts away impurities caused by pollution. It leaves the skin hydrated, silky smooth, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm gonna actually try these out because I do love products that take my makeup off that are not makeup wipes, like cleansing balms or like micellar water. I really, 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 really do love. So anytime I can get my hands on something that's gonna take my makeup off before I actually apply any type of cleanser to my face and like really open up my pores and get into that cleaning process, I am down for so I will definitely give you guys an update on these because I will be trying them out I'm happy that they gave me two um, so yeah we can really give those a run for their money which was free <laughs> almost done with this so I was telling the girl at the Sephora I was like hey like I don't know what it is but I feel like my skin has been a little extra dry lately and um, like especially like right here like around my eyebrows and stuff like I don't know what it is like it's just always gets like super flaky for whatever reason especially when it starts to get cold so she recommended this this is a hyaluronic acid it's just the acid um i'm sure you guys have heard about hyaluronic acid it can be found in a lot of skincare products and also moisturizers um but it's basically to add a lot of moisture back into your skin um this actually was only seven dollars which is crazy because anytime someone hands me skincare and sephora i'm like prepared to spend $60 like skincare and Sephora is like it's like give me a break okay I have to use you every day but this is a face serum it says a powerful moisture binding ingredient that works beneath the skin surface that can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water so basically you're gonna use this to help seal in all that moisture that you're gonna apply so you would apply this after you wash your face no after you put toner on you put this on and then you would put on um, your moisturizer. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little snap top situation. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna definitely try that out as well because I could definitely add this into my skincare video if you guys wanna know what it's giving. Um, but this would be like a newer product to review. All the other stuff in that video is gonna be stuff that I've been using and I can vouch for okay last but not least it is the most exciting thing that i bought i like really hesitated on this i hesitated on some other products but i am going to go back to sephora and i'm going to get them because i cannot stop thinking about them and once i can't get you out of my head i have to have you in my hands so i did pick up the naked honey palette from urban decay you guys know y'all are my honeys you guys know yellow is my favorite color and that i live <laughs> I just live for anything that has to do with yellow first of all packaging this is not a new palette but I just never picked it up and this is like Urban Decay is kind of funny is one of the first brands that I ever actually purchased that were high-end I was probably like 13 and I bought an Urban Decay palette offline it was on sale it probably ended up being like maybe like $15 but it was like all the money I had <laughs> at 13 i don't know why i was so broke but yeah but i'm really happy that i was able like now i could do shit like this now i could just buy urban decay okay so this is like a major improvement for me like this is like a like a milestone you know what i'm saying so i perked i perked i picked this up and if you guys know urban decay palettes always come with a brush so i'm gonna pull this out for you this brush is a dual ended Ooh it's dual ended it's so pretty like it says naked honey on it and it has like a really fluffy side for the crease and then like a really flat side for your eyeshadow so we like that we love free brushes we could always use a new brush this is what the palette looks like it is super pretty i don't remember how many shades it is let's see 12 okay so it comes with uh 12 exclusive golden neutrals includes classic golds warm ambers and rich chocolate browns reach for our go-to shade amber it practically glows so amber is this shade here so we're gonna swatch the ones that they're like <laughs> talking about so it does come with four it looks like no five five shimmer shades 
it looks like and then the rest are matte but you always get a brow bone color like that's why i like urban decay they always give you a brow bone and then they always give you like a super dark crease color um but these shades like i'm gonna actually include a clip because when you shine like the flash on it it's so pretty they're like dual chrome like it's just amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch some so this is amber so pretty this is the color golden Ooh. focus on me so yeah this is the color golden honey which looks so pretty this is honey i'm obsessed it's like a yellowish greenish almost um and this is the color queen i'm about to run out of fingers i'm not gonna swatch the whole palette but these are like the shimmers i'll swatch uh we well, think I want to hear called HBIC. I want to swatch it so bad, but I'm not. Okay. Oh, I can swatch it. I'm not. Okay. So I'm going to swatch. What color is this? This is the color Drip, which I could totally see myself using a lot. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I could totally see myself using this a lot. So, yeah, this is what the most of the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I died. I am very happy with my purchase. I had seated on this. But I'm happy I got it because for fall, this is going to be like my go-to palette. Like it has everything that I need and then some. Like I can get really, really, really creative with this. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial with the Naked Honey Palette, then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And you know, we'll go ahead and do that for you guys. If there's any colors that you saw that I swatched, then you know, comment them down below that you want, if you want to see me use them um, in that tutorial. But yeah. This is going to be a fun tutorial. We could probably get like two videos out of this. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, you get it. Make it, honey. Okay, whatever. Let me go wipe my hand. All right, you guys. So moving on, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Marshalls. And I believe that's everything that I would have. So we are going to start out with some of the home products that I picked up um, because they're just literally right here on my vanity. All right, so I did pick up three candles i am a big candle girl um two of these i actually already burned because i was so thirsty i couldn't help it but the candles that i did pick up um they're called dw home richly scented candle and i picked up the one in yellow yuzu um this one i did burn it smells so pretty one thing i will say is like their fragrance is very light like i don't like that um no shade but like bath and body works their fragrances are really nice don't get me wrong but they are very like heavy like sometimes like certain scents like I just can't take certain smells like the smell of like as a perfect example the smell of like artificial vanilla or like that birthday cake smell will literally make me nauseous so like any scent that's like way too potent is like or like too sugary or like too sweet smelling I don't know like it really makes me nauseous so um, these fragrances are like more subtle like they kind of like lightly scent the room almost like a diffuser would or like a plug-in like it just really like a light fresh scent and some of them are sweet like this one i got pink pear i was a little afraid of this one because it is a, like more of a sweeter smelling candle i burned it today um but when it burns it's really not that strong like it won't like kill me <laughs> if that makes any sense i don't know maybe i'm like super i'm like super sensitive to everything but yeah if you guys have that same problem like you can't take certain smells like if it's like just too overwhelming like it'll make you sick then these are these are perfect for you i also picked up the fragrance peony apple i'm holding out on this one it smells so good these fragrances i got for seven dollars each and the small one was four dollars so I actually did some research because you know Marshalls, everything is always on sale. I looked up DW Home and their fragrances actually are not that expensive. At Marshalls, I did pay basically half price, um, but for this size, um, you can get this for $12, like $12.80 or something like that. So that's actually really not bad. This is a pretty big candle, like it looks, okay, I'll show you like the small one in comparison. like. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna get this for $12, which is really, really good. I picked up these um, these plastic straws. 
These are worth three dollars. They're from Joey MSC. I've never heard of it. Anything from Marshalls like nine times ten, I've never heard of it. Um, but I really do love these plastic straws. I know you guys probably think you know, like me buying these plastic straws is no good. But I feel like to buy the reusable plastic straws over like a regular plastic straw, because I'm one of those people like I drink everything with a straw. Like I literally don't like putting my mouth on anything. So I'm like the number one sinner when it comes to like using a straw i'm sorry oh i forgot okay so we went to h&m this is so random but my mom bought me these two dresses um this is just like a long black it's like mad long this is a black sleeve um not sleeveless short sleeve dress that i'm just gonna wear to like work or whatever then she bought me this hoe top <laughs> no because it is a hoe top um, it was only three dollars everything in there was on sale because the mall had just reopened but it has these long sleeves and the ruching on the sides as you can see this is gonna be sexy it's a hoe shirt but it's like i'm gonna make it look like super classy i also picked up if you guys watch my vlog i also picked up um this little brush i've been looking for i'm gonna take it out i have been looking for a good brush to use when my hair is wet because um i have so much hair you guys like it's not even funny like, i feel like people say that but like i'm gonna make a video of you guys seeing my hair in its natural like wet state i have so much hair it's so hard to get through all of my hair it takes me at least like if i'm really trying to detangle my hair after i get out the shower like it's gonna take me a good 45 minutes to an hour to detangle my whole head because i have to do sections that are like this big okay i have to do sections that are like this big all over my head and i got a little head but i got a lot of hair so yeah i've been looking for something that i could use in the shower and then also something that will help me like when i'm blow drying my hair because i like brushes that have like this open type of situation so like the air can like ventilate through and i think this brush is going to be amazing this is from a swiss co pro and it says it's their detangling flex brush moves with the contours of your scalp yes honey flexible head contours to your scalp for gentle yet effective detangling use on wet or dry hair good for producing sleek straight and stat ugh, sleek straight and static free finish recommended for all hair types curly straight and thin how petty is that curly straight and thin thin is not a hair type so we're almost done i have like four more things to show you but like they're two of the same so one of these i don't even know what to call it i guess it's just a frame but i picked up one of these frames um this is from nielsen bainbridge group and it looks like a like a little like open to-do list type of thing so that's exactly what i'm going to use it for um to like keep somewhere around like on my vanity somewhere i'll like place this with like my little list for the week like if i have things to do this week i also got something that matches this I just have to unwrap it um which is this cute picture frame it's so cute and it matches because it has the silver glitter inside and in here i am going to put a picture probably of me my mom and my sister if we can take like a good quality picture my mother always wants to take selfies like sis we used to go take like we used to have like to go take actual pictures like we would go to a place and they would take our picture like every year we would do that we haven't done that in a while so i think when we do that again i'll put that picture in here and then keep this in my room like next to my little to-do list and then, that's like so cute all right you guys last and least but not the least we have fragrance so i picked up two perfumes if you didn't know marshall's is low-key the plug for perfume especially designer perfume if you don't want to pay full price so i picked up two perfumes i actually picked up the tory birch love relentlessly and first of all this is a big ass box like this is the 3.4 fluid ounce right and i'm pretty sure i paid 60 dollars for this now anytime you buy a designer fragrance and you buy the biggest one it's always in at least a hundred dollars or more tory birch probably like maybe like 96 98 ish but either way you're never gonna pay like you're not gonna pay 60 for the biggest size but let's get into the packaging 
yes i used to wear my mom's toy brush perfume like i would just i used to love spraying my mom's perfume on me and being like the expensive rich bitch at high school this is my first time purchasing like my own toy brush perfume and it smells really good so i'm gonna spray it. i didn't put any perfume today so mm. oh it smells very like it smells very mature but like floral Ooh, ooh, no, it smells really good. Oh, wow. This is gonna be great when I go to work. They're gonna be like, oh my God, you're like, what do you have on? Like, I love when people do that. I love when people are like, ooh, you smell so good. Like, like yes, I took a shower today and, and I'm a baddie. Of course I smell good, duh. The next perfume that I did get, come on, we were just talking about him, is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream Sunshine and Come on, it's yellow. And it's like the biggest one. No, wait, is it the biggest one? No, this is the this is 3.4 and this is 1.7. So this one is gonna be a little bit smaller. This is the size difference. Like one's like a little short fat guy, and this is like the mommy. But yeah, this is the Daisy Dream Sunshine. I just always love their packaging. I love that no matter how many of these he makes he really stays true to the packaging like the packaging on these are so consistent they always have the flowers with the studded flowers on the cap um i always love the shape like this ball shape is so cute to me this one i love now one thing about mark jacobs perfumes is that a little bit uh, a little bit does go a long way i mean that goes for like any designer fragrance like do not be out here spraying yourself four five six seven eight times no sweetie that's not how it works mark jacobs fragrances are so potent like you literally only need like two sprays the only reason i run through my perfume so quickly is because i wear i will wear them every day like mark jacobs is like my day-to-day -day fragrance choice that is everything that i purchased that was my super big haul i'm not even gonna lie i did spend like 500 dollars <laughs> on everything i will put links to all of the products from sephora down below if you guys are interested in the candles i'll definitely leave a link down below as well pretty much anything that i got if i can find it there will be a link <laughs> down in the description box also how are my guys teeth looking do you guys see a difference are they whiter I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So far, we are almost at 200. I know it sounds like, oh, you only had 200, sis. Why you want 1,000? But it's go hard or go home. Dream big, period. So yeah, if you guys know anyone that are interested in beauty videos or you think they're just going to like my cute little entertaining face, then share this video with them. Um, and when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be having a very major giveaway it's going to be a lot of big things going on okay we're going to have a huge giveaway um i might give away some money i don't know <laughs> i don't know we gotta see what's in store get me to a thousand subscribers and we will find out what is in store so yes thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful week and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video